mighty to save. Yes, You're strong to deliver. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. Oh Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey, shabbat. We exalt. Oh, oh, oh. 
Have your way on the go. Have your way on the go. Have your way on the go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you glory today. We magnify your name. This is the day that you have made. And we will be glory to God. And we will give him praise.
thank you. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. We came to worship him. Oh, oh yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, he's good. Yes. Oh, oh glory. Oh, how oh, good it is. To be in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want back what to be in the presence of the King. So refreshing. Oh, it's such a blessing. There's no place I'd rather be than in the presence of the King.
we're going to we're going to sing another song. A miracle working God. How many know He's a miracle yes, yes, working yes, God? Yes, he's yes, a wonder. Yes, he works miracles. Yes, yes, he's yes. a miracle working God. Yes. He's a miracle working.
many, many more. Thank God for our musicians. We give God the praise. Happy birthday, Brother Rich. Many more. We give God praise. Everyone rising on your feet. Yes, Lord. As we present to some and introduce to others all over the world. Yes, Lord. For a young woman who comes in the spirit of Prophetess Deborah to rightly yes, God. judge yes, God. God's yes, people. Yes. Our yes. senior pastor and founder, Elder Michelle. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, glory to God. We give God praise for you, hallelujah. 
Let's rise, hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's rise. Glory to the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Yes, he is. There is none like him in all the None like all him. No, I'm just going to worship you, God, today. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. For everything that you have done. Yes, Lord. And said during the service so far. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, you're so good. You're so yes, God. good. You're yes, so God. good. You're so good. You're so good. So good. We ask you, Lord God, even now, God, as we move to the segment that we could receive of the food of the word of God. Amen. We ask you, God, that the word will fall on good ground today. Yes, God. Yes, God. Every, every distraction and everything that's not like you. Yes, God. Every retaliating work of the enemy. We yes, God. Right now. We declare the victory right yes, now God. in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. As the woman of God, yes, God. prophetess Tracy M. Polar yes. comes to bring the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah for another few hours. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. He knows that this is home for him and that we love him and glory to God. Amen. We give God praise for Amen. him. Amen. Yes. Prophetess Tracy and Polar. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Y'all got me riled up. Because I'm a worshiper. So I can just sit there and worship them. Thank just worship them. They already spoke the Lord. Hallelujah. They, we already heard the word. We, I can just worship them. Because God is so good. God yes, is so is. good to me. Yes. He's been good to me. I don't know about nobody else. Yes. But he's been good to me. Yes. And he's been mighty along the way. Yes. And I think of his yes. 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 My God. And how good he's been to me. Our lives, 
That's how big he is. Yes. Yes. That's how big he is. So mm -hmm. he's a big, he's a great guy. Yes, yes, No matter yes. what you're looking for him to do on today, he will do it if you trust and believe him. Yes. 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 So I'm going to just talk to y'all today. I'm not going to get all hooping and hollering because I just want to say what God has given me. Amen. And it's shifted. He shifted. It's, a, it's, it's, his, his, it's his thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just the vessel. Amen. Amen. And, um, this conference was called Consecrated for the Master's Use. Yes. Yeah. So I just want to talk to y'all on some about some things that had me that, that um caused me to get to this point in my life where I'm consecrated for his use. Yeah. And I want to talk to there's there's like six things I listed. I'm sure there's more, but I'm talking about me. For I mean how I am. <coughs> came through. Thank you, Lord. Bless the and, uh, Lord. Bless our God. First, I want to define consecrate. Yes. And I'm just using the the, um, the dictionary definition now. And it says, to make or declare sacred, set apart or dedicate to the service or deity, to consecrate a new building, to make something yeah. an object of honor, veneration, hollow, a, cust a custom consecrated by time. Yes. Yeah. And then it says, to make holy or dedicate to a higher purpose. The second sec, sacred part of consecrate is a, um, the Latin term sacred. Sacred. Take sacred. Yeah. Something consecrated yeah. is dedicated to God and the sacred. So then we have sanctification. And it's the act of sanctifying, the state of being sanctified, the state of growing in divine grace, as a result of Christian commitment after baptism or conversion. And some other word for that is blessing, consecration, and hallowing. So basically, um, we have holiness, we have dedication, we have obedience, we have love, and we have faith. And all of these things, <clears throat> excuse me, um, bring you to the point where you could be used for the, where you could be set apart for the master's use. Uh -huh. And I want you to turn to work if you have your Bibles. If you don't, you can just listen. Second Timothy 2.21. And it says, therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use. Yes. Set yes. apart as holy, yes. useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. We have to. We, we really have to do away in order to be um, be set apart for the master's use. We got to get in a place where we can do away with sin. Yeah. Yes. We got to. We got to murder our flesh. Yes. Yeah. Um. You can do it. I mean, you could try doing it and try murdering. It. You got to do it every day. You got to put your um, flesh, bring it under submission. You got to. Oh, yeah. um, oh yeah. You got to. You got to do it every single day. There must be a daily. Oh, yeah. A massacre of your flesh every single day. Yes. Every day yes. of your life, every time, every time you wake up in the morning, yes, and Lord. you gotta repent, be repentant like all throughout the day. Got yes. to do it. You have to, no matter what. If you yes, think you did that wrong, you think you said that wrong, go back right, to God and just say, God, forgive me. Yes, 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 yes. God created me a clean heart and a yes, right yes, 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 You have to yes. do that. Got to if you want to be um set apart for the master's use. Yes. 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 Because the gifts come without repentance, uh -huh. so you still can flow in whatever you flow in. But yes. is it going to be effective? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it going to is it going to um, do something for somebody? Are you going to is somebody going to get delivered? Is somebody going to be set free? Yes. Is somebody going to be saved because of what comes out of you? Yes. What comes out of you has to be Glory. pure. Yes. It has to be holy. Glory. You can't just you know. Just live any kind of way. You can't yeah, have like one foot in the it. world and then one foot over in Zion. Yes, yes, yes. 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 how I know because I did that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I remember a time where I, um, well, I'll just give you a little history. I, I grew up in a Baptist church, mm -hmm. the Second Baptist Church in Pennsylvania, yes. Bristol, Pennsylvania. And I remember as a young child, my mom taking me to church every Sunday. Yes. And, um, one Sunday I was sitting there and I heard God say, get up and go to the altar. So I got up and I went to the altar and turned my life over to Christ when I was nine. 
years old, and I was nine at the time. I was baptized and, and all of that. And then um, later down the line, as I got older, then I started to do things the way Tracy wanted to do things. I, w I started doing things how I wanted to do it. And, um, and I, you know, I got back in um, right standing with God, and I began to go to a, a little church called New Beginnings Christian Center yes. up in Somerset, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And I was, um, you know, I, the first couple of years, I just sat there and I was very quiet and um, just taking it in, taking it all in. But there were some things yeah. that had occurred in my life, <clears throat> and it caused me to be like, why? Why? I'm, I'm tired of being a good girl. I'm tired of being good and all these bad things keep happening to me. I keep going through this and I keep going through that. At the time, I guess I didn't have the full understanding that you we're going to go through some stuff because the, the yeah. Bible tells us Jesus said in when he left left and departed from the earth, he said in this world there will be trouble. That's what he yes. said. Yes. But yeah. take, take heart yes. because I've already conquered the world. Yes. I guess I didn't understand that concept. So I was like, okay. Being good is not getting me anywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just not getting me nowhere. I keep on having more and more trouble. So I said, I'm going to be a bad girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a friend of mine said, uh, I don't think you should say that. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. I really don't think that you should be saying that. So I started hanging out with my um, family. I'm the youngest of eight. And um, I started hanging out with my older siblings. They were telling me, won't you just, I went into depression for a while because I was going through so much stuff. And they said, why don't you just hang out? Come on, get up. I remember like being in my room, just laying there, not eating, not drinking, not doing anything. I remember my mom coming over saying, I'm, I'm going to have to call somebody because something wrong because I had diabetes, had diabetes and, my, and she was worried about my blood sugar going down mm -hmm. and everything like that. And I just would not get up. But she didn't know that. <laughs> when, she, when she left, I would sneak downstairs and get a little peanut butter sandwich <laughs> <laughs> to keep my sugar up. Yeah. But anyway, I was really going through it. So my, one of my sisters was like, well, won't you just get out the house and come hang out with us for a little while? And then I considered doing it. So I started doing it, going out, hanging with them. And yeah. The first couple years of me hanging with them, like two years, I hung out with them. And the first couple of years, I used to hold the purses in the club. I just held the purses. I didn't do anything but just watch them dance and, and do what they were doing, drink or whatever they were doing. And so um, one year my sister, she got a party at the club. And, I, and my nephew, not this one, I have another nephew, Brandon, he was sitting next to me and he had a drink right there. And I just said, give me that. He said, auntie, what you doing? I said, give me that. So I started just tossing them back. I don't know why I was tossing them back. And, that um that goes that 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 really proves that when you hang you gotta watch you get the environment watch it, watch it, watch it. Yeah. even yes, if you feel like good. it's not gonna come yes yeah, you're not gonna do that because I felt like I wasn't gonna do that mm -hmm. I'm just here just getting out the house being around my family just watching them dance and have have a good time but I grabbed yeah. the drink I kept tossing them back next thing you know I was on the floor mm -hmm. like Tracy got a groove back up on the floor <laughs> they was looking like what what's going on here. So I was, I was, I was getting my, getting jiggy, whatever you want. I was cutting the rug, That's whatever you want to call it. That's all right. After that, all right. after that, I just kept on going, kept on going with them. Another drink, another drink, another drink. No, yes, good yes. well. Then I was, it was like a death sentence to me because I had diabetes. And mm -hmm. I was sitting there drinking. And then I remember one time I was, um, I got like an infection on my finger or something. Mm -hmm. So I said, no, I ain't going to drink this week. This weekend, mm -hmm. we were going to the club. Um, I think it was Sunday, Thursday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday. We was Saturday. We was there, and um, I remember like a whole table, like you know how they had those circle little tables, and the club was just all mine, just drinks. I didn't pay for any of it. Right. I didn't pay for any of it. Yeah. They were just buying the drinks, mm -hmm. right? Sending them to me, pushing them over. And then one day, I said to myself, Lord, I lost my way. And it seemed like I can't find my way back to you. Hallelujah. And I toss them up, get back on the floor, and be dancing all night. People, yeah. people in the neighborhood that used to know me was like, is that Tracy out there? I was just dancing. My goodness. Then one time I remember I was sharing with Brother Kyle one time when um, it was my birthday. And I was like, I'm not. It was to turn the lights on. It was time to leave the club. 
when they turn the lights on, everybody know it's time to go. And I said, I ain't leaving this place until they play 50 Cent. It's my birthday. It's your birthday. And they was like, come on, we gotta go. And they was like, play it for us. So they played it for me, and I cut a fool. Everybody cut a fool with me. And then we left, and it just kept going on and on and on. Wow. And then one day, I remember we had, me and my family, we went to a cookout before going to the club. So we got some drinks at the cookout. Mm -hmm. Then we went to the club and got more drunk. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so um, two, um, two of my, um, my cousin and a nephew had a little beef the night before, but it was just guys drinking and acting crazy. And so I don't know how it escalated to something, but I remember being on the um, steps of the club and them two started fighting. And I'm like, Lord, what is going on here? What is going on? I'm drunk. I'm high. I'm everything. I'm. I'm just going to tell the truth and shame the devil. That's all right. Yeah, because it. the truth will set you free. Yes, it will. So I'm going to tell the truth and shame the devil. I was tell drunk. I was short. And I looked up and said, "What in the world is going on here?" Mm -hmm. And God spoke like thunder to me. Yes. He said, "They're. You're, he said they're headed down the road of destruction, mm. and you're headed down the road of destruction right with them." My God. Oh, Lord. And I said, hmm? "I know I'm high." He said, "That you are." And then he said, um, he said, um, choose you today who you're going to serve. Yes. Wow. I was like double dipping. I had one foot here, one foot there. Like I would go, to, I would go to the club. I would go to the club, and then on a Saturday night, we'd be out all night. Yes. And I would go, I would go try to dress, um, get dressed real quick and get ready to go to church. Mm -hmm. And I remember a, my pastor at the time. He said, um, he said, if you ever lose your way. Keep coming, no matter yeah. what. Go back out there. Yeah. Yeah. Keep coming. So I yeah. kept remembering. Yeah. So I kept coming. And so that night, that day, um, that day when God spoke to me like that, His voice was just like thunder. And I'm like, Keep coming, woman. Oh my goodness. And I was like looking all around. Then He let me hear my grandmother's voice. Yes. Who was a holy woman, a righteous my woman, the one that taught all of us righteousness. Yes. Yeah. Queen, her name was Queen Fitzroy. Yes. Yeah. My goodness. He let me hear her voice. This, one of the last things she said to me was, Tracy, Tracy, yeah. she was down, from down Georgia. Mm -hmm. Tracy, Tracy, you keep going to church here. Sooner or later, you'll bring the rest of them in. Mm -hmm. And I remembered that. Yeah. But God allowed me to hear her say it, and I just broke out in tears right on the step. Yeah. And God said, um, if you go back in, in that club, you're not coming out. You're going to die if you go back in that club. And he said, matter of fact, before I formed you in your mother's belly, I called you mm -hmm. as a prophet to the nation. Mm -hmm. And he told me to choose today. And so I just threw my hands up while they're fighting on the steps, cops running up and down the steps trying to break up the fight. I'm in the middle like this. Yeah. With my hands up, I surrender. Hi, I surrender. Yes, and my yes. brother was like, what's wrong with you, girl? Come on. He tried to drag me down the step. The cops said we got to leave or they're going to arrest everybody. I'm still like, leave me alone. I surrender. Yes, so finally I come to, came, came down the step because he actually picked me up and rolled me down the step because he didn't want us to get arrested. But I said all of that to say that that day yes. was a day that like I really, even though I knew I, knew, I was saved at nine years old, I, had a, a, I knew who God was. I loved God. I, I, um, he was, he was in my heart always. And but I just, I went another way because yes. things weren't working out. Yeah. And um, they weren't working out. So I said, I'm gonna work them out myself. Yes. But how many know there's a timing in God? There's a divine yes. timing in yes. God for everything. Yes. You can't move out of God's timing. Oh yeah. Because if you move out of God's timing, my goodness, you. you some stuff gonna happen to you along the way. Some yeah. stuff is gonna happen anyway, but you gotta try to stay in God's timing. So that yeah. day, um, I, I remember I went home and um, my cousin called me up and was talking to me overnight. I said, I don't know what y'all doing, what y'all gonna do, but I'm going to church. Go, I'm man. not turning back. Yeah. I'm not turning back. And I remember All one right. of my sisters, that's like the main party girl, where <laughs> she, she, she was like, you going to the club? I was like, nope. I'm not coming. And I kept saying that. And finally she seemed like she was getting a little bit upset. And she didn't know what, what I was doing and why I was changing what I was doing. So I sat down and talked to her like, God called me. And I already know that. He called me from a child. Because even when I was a child, I would hear God say, uh, a voice say, Tracy. A bit, still soft voice. So I asked my mom, somebody keep calling my name. And my mom was like, uh, you better not answer because she wasn't, I guess, Everybody, you know, she wasn't sure her of what was going on. So, um, um, 
And so I would, I remember like I would just be, I would like gaze in the sky while all the other kids were playing outside. I would just be looking up, listening to the voice. And so I know that I, I was um, called at a young age. I was, I know I was, when I get, I was born into this thing, into the prophet. I knew I was born into it, but um, you, when you get older, you go, you do, you do your own thing, and you, especially when somebody bringing you to church like every single Sunday, yes. even if you don't want to go, you gotta yes. go. Yes. Even when you got school the next day and you don't get home till like one a.m. Yes. in the morning, yes. and you just, you know, I just said I'm gonna do my own thing. Yes. And one time I switched, and I was when I was 18, and I said um, I started doing that five percent thing, five percent Islam or whatever. I said my name was. <laughs> Queen yes. Tashe, crew living in Islam, uh, 17 scientific manifestation of self, and I could break it all down too. Uh, but when, you, when you're rooted and grounded in the word, yes, when, you, when your foundation is in the word, you come back. I don't yes. care what you do, you're gonna come back. I came yes. back and I said, wait a minute, this stuff is not, this stuff ain't right. I saw this, started seeing things that they did that was not right. So I came back to God. Yes. Thank God I made it back to him. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It's just been so many trials, so many tribulations, even um, as I came back to God, and I just learned that, I had to learn that um, if, I'm, if I stay with God, no matter what I go through, no matter what, what I go through, that um, he's going to bring me out. Amen. And if I had to, like, sum up my life, mm -hmm. I would say my life has been like, has been, I've been, it's like I've been walking through a fire, mm. a fire, like just walking through this fire, um, trying to um, live for God, just trying to uh, set, set captives free for God. Yes. Yeah. Like and it don't matter. And God, God said to me like a lot of times I um, I get um, people would call me for prayer. I need in middle uh, in the middle of the night. I run prayer lines all through the middle of the night. One day I said, God, well, what about me? Who, who, who do I go to? And God said, take care of my business, and I'll take care of yours. And that's what he's done. That's what he's done for me in my life. And, like, no matter what I go through, I've been through a lot of things. Yes. Brother Kyle could attest, Pastor Michelle could yes. attest, Prophet Stacy yes. could attest, my son, Prophet Ron Matthews could attest to a lot of things that I've been through. But no matter what, when I'm down, I yes. minister the word. When I minister yes. the word, it like takes everything away. Yes. Like everything yes. that I'm going through, it takes my mind off of everything that I'm going through. Amen. Everything. Yes. God has been good to me. I mean, Thank um, Lord. I don't know how many knew that um Stacy was there, so she knows. And, and Pastor Michelle knows uh, my nephew. He came to know my son. Like I had to, I was in an accident and I had um to get cervical spine surgery, and I went in for like an hour and a half surgery, and it turned into six hours, so I was told. Mm. All I remember was going in, Stacy was out there in the waiting room, probably Stacy, so she knew. I was, um, I'm, all I remember was them sticking me with a needle talking about you're gonna be out one, two, three seconds. You're gonna be out, and I was out. I don't remember nothing, but I remember like being above the bed while they were working on me and there was there was an angel holding my hand and I was watching him work and I heard them sound like they said she's cold but then I realized the doctor said she coded. Next thing I know I was in um in um ICU and um I was in a coma, like a sedated type coma and I could hear Stacy, I could hear my daughter Tasha, I could hear the doctors and the nurses talking and it was like I was trying to climb back to get to them, no, no, I'm okay, don't say, you know, and, and I, I couldn't get back, but then I remember being in this room with God, I heard him first say that you're going to be okay, you stop breathing, but you'll be okay, mm -hmm. so then I remember being in like a red room, it was like a red room, and I know I was sitting on his lap, I didn't see him, I'm not going to be deep and say, oh, I saw him, but I felt him, and he talked to me, and he was tell, just giving me revelation, and telling me about how I was going to be okay and how the world, the state the world is in, and that um, wow. that um, we got to get ready, wow. we got to get ready for His coming, because He said the He said the body of Christ. Some of the, some of us have a loose grip on our ticket 
to um, salvation. Yes. And then some of us got the wrong ticket. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. Some of us have the wrong ticket and some of us the ticket is slipping through our fingers because of different things. Jesus. Like because of disobedience or lack of love and all of these type of things that we jealousy, all kinds of stuff that yes. we do that's not pleasing to God's sight. So yes. he told me to come back and like tell tell, tell the body of Christ while I preach the message. Um, check your ticket. No, the end is near. Check your ticket. Do you have a ticket to? Do you have a reservation to heaven or hell? So, wow. we, so we're in the time where we need to, we need to decipher that. We really do need to know because God said He's coming back momentarily. We they used to say soon, 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 and as a child I'd be like soon. He still didn't come. Now in 2010, He still ain't here. Then we had different people like prophesy, different world leaders prophesy that He's coming. And, um, I remember my, my brother-in-law's birthday was like, I think March 10th. I'll never forget this as a little girl. And um, and somebody prophesied that that would be the last day of the world. I was scared. <laughs> Thinking that it was going to be the last day of the world, but then I came to know only God knows. Yes. And angels Amen. don't even know. God knows. Amen. I came to know that. But he, did, he also said that life is a vapor. Mm, We're here today and going tomorrow. tomorrow. Right. Yes. So we got to be mindful of, of, of how we're living, how we're walking. We can't, if we're going to walk, no, if we're going to talk that talk, we got to walk the walk. Yes. We can't just be say, saying this, you know, one day and then doing this in church and then when you go behind closed doors, something else is going on. Mm -hmm. We got to really get ready for the coming of the Lord. We got to get ready. Yeah. We got to turn our life over to God. I got all these notes, but I feel like God is just leading me to, I'm just following the leading of the Holy Spirit and what he's saying yeah. to That's me um, to tell you. And, and for me too, because I don't leave myself out. Mm -hmm. There's some stuff I got to work on. There's some stuff we all got to work on. But yeah. God, oh. this is his desire. Yeah. Yeah. I got, if we knew oh. the desire that God had yeah. for us to make it yes. Yes. to yes. heaven, my goodness, he want all of us to be in heaven with us. Oh, yeah. He, he, he wants us all to make. It's Amen. not his desire that none should perish. Yes. None. He don't want Amen. any of us. But unfortunately, I don't know if we all gonna make it. But we gotta every day. We gotta live like like yes. it's our last day Come here. On. Right. Every That's single right. day, and we yes. just gonna take faith. Faith is key. Obedience yes. is key. Yes, That's right. it is. I found out that my life was always going like. Haywire, like it would be good, then it would go yes. Yes. Be crazy. I was running, do, doing the wrong things, and and I didn't realize it. And I was like, but I'm good. Uh, uh, I used to think like that, like a lot of people think that, oh, God is not that deep. Like if you good, if you do good things, you did more good than bad, then you'll make it. But yeah. but it's not. That's not really the case. God is. He cannot go back on His word. Amen. He can't go back on His word. What He said in His word is true. Yeah. And we got to know that it's true. Yes. It's, it's not no play. He's not playing with us. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's lenient. Yes. I mean, he, he, he forgives us. He looks past our fault and he still meets the need yes. of his people. He always going to meet our needs. Wow. Mm -hmm. But but when he said, when he said that, that, that um, the requirements to make it in, he mean what he's saying. That's yes. right. He's not playing with us. He can't go back on his word. Because then if he went back on his word and said, okay, I'll let Tracy in, even though she 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 was in fornicate, she fornicating, even though she's doing this, even though she's doing that, she's a good person, I'll let her in. Then he then that'll make him out to be a liar. Because mm. he said that he's there's some specific guidelines that we what we gotta do in order to um order for us to make it in. Amen. So, so we just got to live every day like we about to take our last breath, even though we're not. But I'm not saying live in fear, because fear is a breach. Yes. Amen. It's disobedience. Actually, fear is disobedience. Yes. It is. You can't live in fear. I know we're in a pandemic, or a pandemic, as probably mm -hmm. always said. But we, and it's true, it's a plan of the enemy to take out some people. That's it. That's right. But we can't live in fear. We got to trust God. Right. And take him at his word, and we got to know that if we should leave here, then it's time for that's our time. Our time that's is up. It. We can't yeah. live in fear. That's right. The fear is a breach. It really is a breach. Yeah. The Bible says to, that um that God, you know, that, that we have to trust Him. The Bible say that. Uh, let me look at my scriptures here. I don't want to tell y'all no stuff. Yeah. You then y'all be looking. Like she said. You in it? Yeah. And I did. Um, 
that the Lord used. Right up. Bless the Lord. Bless some scriptures. And I, I did a lot of stuff. And I had a feeling that God would just shift it. That it will be done. But uh, let's see what he says here. Praise God. faith. And Hebrews 11 and 6. Yes. And it says, and without faith it's impossible to please yes. God. Yes. Because yes. anyone who comes to him Come on. must yes. believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Uh -huh. If we're seeking him, when we seek him, the more you seek him, the more you pray, the more you read your Bible, then faith, your faith is going to um, boost up. Because it says faith comes by hearing. Hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and studying and reading the word of God, that's how your faith get up, get up there. And then faith, your faith, when you, always, always how my faith got where it became, um, where it got to, is just watching him do miracles. I seen, if I leave this earth today, I can say I've seen demons, mm, <laughs> I've seen angels, yeah. I've seen many, many miracles. My God, so many miracles God has done for me. If I even began to explain to you, we'd be here all day My about God. what he brought me through. It was a miracle. I'm a walking, living miracle. Yes. My God, I was supposed to be dead. My God. Near my grave. Yes. If the devil had his way, I wouldn't be here. True. Mm -hmm. All right. People already thought, Preach. oh, she ain't going to make it through this. Preach. She, she, she's not going to make it. Come on, prophet. Right. Work with it. She ain't yes. going to make it. Yes. Preach, preacher. Yes. Come on, baby. They, 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 they counted me for dead. Uh -huh. Preach, they said I, I wasn't going to make it through that yes. surgery. Yes, but I'm here to tell you that I'm a walking, living yes. miracle. Yes. I'm a testimony because I wasn't supposed to be here. Yes, I, when I went through the situation with... um. Well, what happened to me when my spine was injured and I was in the, I always said I was going to read, I mean, I wanted to read the operative report from that surgery, but some, because I knew I had stopped breathing, I was like, that's a little eerie, I didn't want to read it. But when I was in the courtroom, the lawyer stood up and said, my client didn't code one time but two times. Yes, ma'am. I said, my God, my, I'm not supposed to be, there's so many things that happened to me that I'm not supposed to be here. But I'm here. I'm supposed to be here, but according to the devil, I'm not supposed to be here. According to the devil, the devil's been trying to trip me up, choke me, do every kind of thing he can to take me out, but I'm here. I can tell you that if you trust God, what you're going through, if you trust God, and stay in, stay in good standing with God. If you get out of Get over here and get right back over. Yeah. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and ask yeah. God to just cleanse your heart. Yeah. Cleanse it. your heart. You gotta have a clean heart to have make it. it. For yeah. Him to use you. For you to be set apart for the master juice. You gotta have a. You gotta be. You you gotta embrace holiness. Amen. That's it. You gotta be. You gotta be. Sanctification. You gotta sanctify yourself. Yeah. All right, preacher. First, you gotta sanctify yourself. Then you can walk in holiness. When you say, God. I surrender. Yeah. I surrender all because of what Tracy had some desires, some yeah. heart desires. I had some heart desires. One of the yeah. desires I waited for about 30 years. Mm. <laughs> but it wasn't until I said to God, maybe this ain't what you want for me no more. Yeah. And I said, how about this, God? How about this? Whatever your will is for my life, I embrace it to death. Amen. I don't care because all I want is you. Yes. And I know you won't leave me wrong. He led me. I went astray. He brought me back. And he, he led me all through life. Preach, preach For 49 up. years, My God. I walked upon this earth. Yes. And he led me. Thank you. All, every step of the way. When I tried to go that way, he pulled me back that way. Some things I didn't understand. And why? Why is this happening to me? Why is it? Why are they rejecting me? Mm -hmm. Why are they disrespecting me? Why are they don't like me? Why this? Why that? All of the questions that I had. But if I had it to do all over again, I would go through the same thing. Yeah. Because it brought me to this point in my life. Oh, yeah. And obedience is key, it's key, it's key. Yeah. I don't care what God yeah. tells you to do, do it. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta do whatever he tells you to do. Yeah. Because obedience is the key to the abundant life. Yeah. It wasn't until I learned that, yeah, that yeah. things started turning around for me. Yeah. I mean, I went through poverty, I went through struggles, all types oh, of struggles. Yeah. Oh my goodness, if I told you some of the things I went through, me and my children went through. Mm. 
Mm. And time she, I, I kept telling them the whole time, God is going to do it. Didn't I say that? God is going to do it. They was like, they was like, okay, okay. Then finally, I know they got tired of hearing me say, God is going to do it. He's going to bring us out. It's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. They would get frustrated because they was going through right, right with me. Mm. Yeah. But then eventually, um, it took it took some time. We was in the valley for a long time. A long time we was in the valley place. Yes. My God, and not too long ago, about like two, it, I think it was for two years, two and a half years, God took me to a secret place mm. with, just, yeah. with just me and him. Mm. Just me and him. I didn't understand it because uh, some, some loved ones had came up against me and different things like that. And I didn't understand, well, God, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? And so he said, you told me to get you out of the situation, so I'm getting you out of the situation. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. Talk I had to it. leave where my residence, and I had to go. I'm, I'm just going to tell the truth. I don't care. Because it might sure. help somebody. But I had to leave my residence, and I had to go stay in a motel for like yes. two and a half years. Pastor yes. Michelle knows. Yes. Stacy knows. Yes. Tashi knows. I had to Bless stay her. in this place. Bless First, her. when I got there, I sat on the bed, and I said, God, what is this? He said, you told me to get you out of the situation. I said, okay, now I said, I didn't have, I was injured. I had ran out of my um, temporary disability. I had applied for permanent disability and they, they, they didn't give it to me. I didn't have no money coming in no kind of way. And, I, and God said, I'm going to sustain you in this place that you're in. I'm going to sustain you, don't worry. I'm going to sustain you, that's what he said. I said, okay, God. Every Friday, I had to come up with 375 every Friday. Yes. So Thursday would come and I wouldn't see nothing. Friday at 11 o'clock, it was due. I didn't see nothing. Yes. I was like, oh Lord, I started getting into panic mode. And then, I, I promise you, for two and a, about two and a half years, every week God made a way. It would be people just calling and saying, I got you this week. God said, I got you that week. Mm -hmm. Then it came to a time where I got two weeks behind. And I was really, really like in a, and I was panicking. I'm not. Gonna, I was like nervous. Like I, all I could see me with that walker outside, <laughs> walking with a stick outside with a walker. My Lord. That's and so, um, so, but God had already told me to trust Him and everything. And so I, 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 I prayed, and I even turned their little closet into a prayer room, put lights up, scriptures, and all types of things. And I would just go in there and just go in. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes my son would come to visit me. And he would, I, I wake up in the middle of the night and he's in there praying. And I was like, bless Father. Because he was in there praying, using my little prayer room. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, so, so two times, one time I got two weeks behind and I was, and I was like, really, really, I was really, really like nervous. And God was like, I told you I'm going to sustain you. And then the next day, the people were working with me there. They didn't try to, they said, you're very nice. God set it up where for eight months straight, I paid him every week. One time, so that built like a rapport with them. Yeah. So they knew I was yeah. nobody yeah. just trying to yeah. get over or making up stuff. But I got um, backed up for two weeks, and I was really like nervous. All that, okay. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so then two churches came on the same day and paid it off. So I got caught up. And God told me I was going. He's going to catch me up on this day. So it's just the whole thing is just just trusting God. Thank These things that I went through built my faith. Amen. Up and, you, and we just got to have faith. We got to yeah, have yeah. faith to make it. Yeah. We got to walk in obedience. We got to walk in love. We have we, 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 we got to do these things to make it. Amen. To make it through. To, to be Lord. set aside yes. for the master's years. Yes. 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 We don't do it. You know, everything we're doing, we're just doing in vain. Yes. What are we doing it for? You can hop and jump and run all around the church and all right, stop oil on people and do all of those kind of things. But if you're not if you're not living a consecrated life, if you're not living holy, yes. if you're not living, if you're not dedicated to God, you got to be dedicated. That's right. You got to dedicate yourself to God. That's you got to say, for God, I live. I My God, God, I'm living for God. You got to give yourself away. Yeah. You truly got to give yourself away. You got to get in a place where you could just, a place where you're in prayer with God, not no pity pat five second prayer but just in prayer with God That's you gotta good. spend time you gotta break the words down be in the word with him because when he was bringing me up after I left the club like <laughs> he used to <laughs> I used to kids would go to school 
And at that time, I was substituting in the school. But God made it where I didn't get no jobs for like months. And I would just be in the Word from the time they left to the time um, to the time they came back. I was in the Word. Just God was just teaching me His Word. He was teaching me, mm. teaching me about demons. He was teaching me about all types of things. He was te just teaching me, and I was just hungry for the Word. And He yeah. was just pouring the Word in me, and I became like a walking Word. Like I was mm. just like a walking Word, and I was just hungry for God. And I said I was never going to go back in that place. Where I would where I would disconnect from God yes, because wow. when we when we when we disobey God or in a disobedient state, then we kind of like disconnect. It's a disconnect. It's like we build a wall between us and yeah. God. Yes. And I okay. said I would never do that because we need God. Yeah. We need Him to live. I don't care. I don't care what nobody tell you. Yeah. And, oh. and you gotta have God in your life to live. You're not gonna make it God, without yeah. God. You can't make it without God. Yeah. If it wasn't for God, I would have. Committed suicide. I know. I know. I know. Many times. Yeah. One time I remember being in a car, sitting in a car with um, one of my friends while she was taking her son to um, try on his tuxedo for um, for his um, I think it was a prom or something. And uh, and the enemy just kept speaking to me because there was a highway behind me. Just get out the car and just stand right in the traffic. Mm -hmm. The life don't mean nothing. Look at how people treat you. Look how your family. Sometimes treat you. Look how people disrespect you. And yeah. I literally, I promise y'all, it was like I was, I was ready to have my hand on the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if it wasn't for God, I would walk right out in that traffic, Amen. and I wouldn't even be here. Amen. There's so many things I could think of that God saved me from. Yes. Right? I was in school. I think I was in like the third or fourth grade, and I used to like clown a lot. With in the class, I was like a little clown sometimes. And I remember like we were eating tacos. Those hard tacos at the school, and I started to choke. But everybody thought I was like this. Everybody thought like she's just playing around. But this one boy jumped up and said, "No, she's serious." And um, and they did the high make maneuver and all that, and I was okay. But there were so many times the enemy tried to take me out. And the enemy is going to come. The enemy is he yeah. stays on his job. Right. He yeah. stays on his job. Yeah. We don't stay on our job. Yeah. But he stays on his job. He's not going to stop. He knows that. If you're in yeah. Christ, you got the victory, yeah. but we got to know that we got the victory. Yeah. No matter what comes, we got to know we got the victory. I don't care what comes, yeah. what you go through, you got to know you got the victory. Yeah. Yeah. The devil knows you got the victory, but do we know we got the victory? Yeah. Because when you know you got the victory, I don't care what you're going through, God is going to bring you out. Yeah. He got the power oh, yeah. to bring you out. Oh, yeah. And we got to stay tapped in. Yes. Yes. Got to stay tapped in. You can't. You can't dip over here and dip over there. Stay tapped in. Because when you get out of the will of God and get in mouth and get out of right standing with God, then then the enemy got free range. That's right. He got free range to do whatever he wants to do. And if, and if God chooses to uh deliver you, then you'll be delivered. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. But if he if he takes his hand off you, if he does, like like if he just say, Okay, she's going she got Tracy gotta learn this. And I, I don't make it through it, then then I'm I'm, I'm the cause. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm the cause if I yeah, if know. I don't make it through because I was rooted and grounded in the work. Yeah. I told y'all my mom brought me to church mm -hmm. from a little girl up. My grandmother mm -hmm. brought us to that church, and sometimes yeah. I would be like, oh lord, uh, yeah. I would I was I'd be looking yeah. mean. I'm not I'm not I'm not playing with y'all. My face would be frowned up. People would talk to me. I would roll my eyes like, what they talking to me for? I was, I remember being in the choir and the choir going back and forth like this. They made me be in the choir and I'm just standing there like this with my hands folded and they bumping me. And I'm like, mm, bumping them back. <laughs> I remember like, like just, you know what I mean? Just that, just like, I don't want to be here. We got to stay here all day, every day. And I can't, then I'm, I'm tired and I got to stay up and do my homework when I get home. I remember all of that. Yeah. All of those things, but then I remember certain songs that like hit my spirit when I was in the church as a young girl. Like they would sing certain songs back in the day that yeah. would just hit your spirit. I remember seeing people yeah. speaking tongues and I'm like, what are they talking about? Like different things I would see. I but don't. now I understand it. The, um, the Bible says we'll understand it after a while, but now I understand. Yeah. I understand everything I went through, why I had to go through it. And like I said, if I had to do it over again, I would do it. 
And there was a time, like, when um, a couple times along the way, like a collar, that never mattered to me. Once I found out who I was, it didn't matter to me. All I wanted to do was do what God said do. I didn't care about a nation. I didn't care about wearing no collar. I didn't care about doing nothing but what God said because I already knew in due time That's he right. was going to elevate me. Amen. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I wanted to be in the shadows, in yeah. the background. I never wanted to be in the front. Amen. I never did it right except for one time in my life where I was I was a rapper and Ky, Brother Kyle know all about that. <laughs> I don't even know how I could get how I got on stages and and rapped and did all of those things, but that was just in my youth when I was a like a peer. I mean, a young a young person. But um, I never wanted to be like speaking to people, and I always I was always quiet. Like I'm I'm. It, I'm really quiet around other people. Like if I'm not comfortable, I just sit and I watch you and I observe. I, I just never, never imagined like doing all of this, even though I knew that God eventually would use me because he would, um, that people would say stuff in church and I'd be like, hey, I knew that too. Mm. I knew what they was going to say <laughs> before they said it. I knew that, but I knew that at that time it was not my time. Mm. It was my time to just sit and sit under the word and and just get fed, get fed by the word. Because I remember when I was in New Beginnings Christian Center, a church that I was at in Somerset, I was there for like 12 years and I was very quiet. And my pastor would say, Tracy, when she talked, her lips don't even move. She don't even hardly talk. But then one day when God put a fire under my feet, I got up, I joined the praise and worship. I was I'm in Bible study, I was in prayer, I was doing all these things and it was just, it was time for me to start moving and moving into the things that God wanted me to move in. Yeah. But if I had it my way, I would just be sitting right back there, like, like or sitting right there like Tashi with my hand folded, just yeah. watching everything, enjoying it all, right. but just watching everything. Yeah. So there's processes yeah. and things that you gotta go through to for God to give in, when, you, when God wants to use you, there's a lot of stuff. There's persecution, there's rejection. Yeah. Oh my goodness, there's all kinds of stuff that you go through. and, and and it makes you wonder, like, you know, it makes you wonder, like, why am I here? But when, like I said, when I found out my purpose, because I asked God, what am I here for? When he told, if you ask God, if you get in a place and you ask God, what are you here for? He'll tell you. If you just be That's still right. and listen, he'll tell you exactly what you're supposed to be doing, Amen. when you're supposed to be doing it. That's it. Amen. And you got to, as he's grooming you, as he's getting you ready yes. to be used, you gotta, you got to take correction. You can't be somebody that don't take correction. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't li like what the person say, like Pastor Michelle told me, wear stockings. Wear no stockings, Tracy. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want to wear no stockings. Mm -hmm. It's too hot for stockings. Yeah. But then then, yes, then to, um, yesterday she said, you don't got to wear them today. But then God said, put on the stockings. So I put on the stockings. Mm -hmm. Because Look nobody don't need to be looking at nothing but what God, and hear, listen to what God is saying. And you just got to be obedient. You got to be obedient. You got to... Under, I mean, you got to understand how to come under submission. You got to understand how to come under the authority of the person in the house that you worship at. You can't just be doing things all out of order. Mm -hmm. There's protocol, and that protocol. She said, we're stockings, so I wear stockings, even though I didn't want to. Because yes, I right. said it's too hot, man. Yes. But I did it. Yes. But she said it. And then here I come, after she released me from doing it, I did it again today. Bless because, her because that's order and protocol. You can't, mm -hmm. God can't can't move in your life when you're all out of order and doing this and doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, you just got to stay in divine alignment, in, in divine alignment with God in order for you, in order for him to set you apart and use you, really use you. He'll use you. Amen. But in order to operate in miracles, signs and wonders and just make an effect on people mm -hmm. that you come across. Yes. 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 I want to make an effect. Yes. yes. I, I heard the older people say, Back in the day in the church, if I can help somebody, yeah. I, know yeah. I don't want to just be living my life in vain. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. living just to be living and not doing anything. But but it's all about Tracy, what Tracy wants. Mm -hmm. well, as soon as you put down your will and pick up God's will, he will truly use you. Amen. And consecrate you for his use. Amen. Amen. He really will. And I guess I didn't said all about what I'm going to say today. But um, I will say this: if you are here, if you are here today, and and you and you're um, if you're here today and you just say to yourself, "Well, God, 
you know, I, I haven't been all that you want me to be, and I've been embracing my own will, and I want to pick up your will, then just, just talk to God. Stand on your feet, if you will. Stand on your feet. And just talk to God right now. You don't got to talk out loud. Just tell God. Tell God that you, what, what you want from your, your life, how, he, how you want to be used by him. Just tell him. Yes. Just between you and God. Tell him. Tell him today. Because if you open your heart and you tell God, God, my, not my will, but your will be done in my life from this point on out, I guarantee you, I can tell you because I, I did it myself, that, that your whole life would just shift. There will be no more lack in your life. You're going through hardships and struggles. My God, God will bless you yes. beyond measure. If you just surrender everything to him and yes. stop worrying about how you're going to pay this bill, how you're going to pay that bill, or how the food going to come up. I'm telling you, it was days where, where I didn't know what we was going to eat, but I said to God, God, I know you're going to feed your prophet today. Jesus. And people somebody right. knock on the door God. with the food. Jesus. With food. Well, There's so it. many things that God has done for me, and I know he's not a respecter of person. What he did for me, he'll certainly do for you. He'll certainly do it for you. He will certainly do it for you. There's nothing. The Bible tells us that he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. That means if you stay in that place with God, there's nothing that will be withheld from you. Nothing at all. And we just gotta we have to we have to embrace. Some of the things God was speaking to me about was us embracing brotherly love, like walking in love towards one another. Yes. Not worrying about, oh, she don't like me, or she rolled her eyes at me, or, or he rolled his eyes at me, or this, that, and the other. We got to just get in a place with God where we walk in love with our... Y'all can sit down. I don't want to wear y'all out, but I'm almost finished. But... um. We got to get in the place where we can walk in brotherly love. The Bible says, let brotherly love continue. Yes. The first command was to love God with all our heart. The second command was to love our brothers and sisters. So we can't say we love God if we don't love our brothers and sisters. Yeah. We can't say that. Can't do it. We have to, no matter what my sister or my brother do to me, no matter, I'm, I'm talking about my spiritual sister and brothers, my natural, whatever. No matter what they do to me, I still got to walk in love. Even when I don't want to walk in love, Amen. I got to walk in love in order to make it. Yeah. Because God said that that we if we if we love Him, we're gonna obey Him. We can't say that we love our um, we love God, but I don't love I don't love Prophet Stacy or I don't love I don't love Sister Gracie. No, I can't say I love God and then didn't act any kind of way. You know, I'm not saying we always gonna be perfect, and sometimes our attitude might rise up, our emotions might rise up, but we got to bring them in check. We yes. do got to bring them in check, and we got to learn to lo to love. Mm -hmm. We got to learn to love no matter what. Yeah. When my family, when, uh, when some of the things occurred, I still loved them. I still pray. I never stopped praying for them. I never yeah. stopped praying. When people hurt me, I just begin to pray for them. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to pray. Yes. Uh, my prayer might not have been my first reaction. I might go in front. Like it was. I was upset. I was mad. I was angry. It might not have been my first reaction, but I learned that if you commit, the Bible tells us in Psalms 37 and 5, commit your ways to me, trust me, and I'll bring it to pass. So if we just trust God through everything, yes. everything, you'll find out after a while, after a while, you'll find out that everything will be okay and everything will come in alignment with God. Yes. Amen. So the, th the um, thing I wanted to leave, there's two scriptures that I wanted to leave with you and then I'm done because I know time is spent. One is John 9, 4. It says, I must work the works of him who sent me while it's day. When night comes, no man can work. Yeah. No man. So when night comes, when God, when, when it's all done and said and and Jesus cracked to the sky, there's, there's nothing you could do if you didn't do anything. 
that with your life or with God told um, the things God told you to do. If you just everybody had a purpose, and if you didn't walk in that purpose to get on your destiny track at some point, then it's it's it's, it's done and said. And then we have Ecclesiastes 12, not not nine through I mean, 12, not. Um, 12, 13 through 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Yeah. Fear God, keep his commands, for this is everyone's duty. God will judge us for everything we do, including every secret thing, whether good or bad. So the secret things, we got to learn to commit those to God. We can, If you commit it to God, like if you have a strong heart or anything, commit it to God and he'll bring you through it. Amen. He'll bring you through it. He brought me through And he'll Amen. bring you through too. Yeah. The whole matter is for us to um, obey God. And love one another. Walk in love towards one another. Amen. Amen. I'm done today. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Oh, God. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. So this wasn't where I was going to go, but God just shifted it and, and had me be transparent and open up and tell you some of the things I've Wonderful. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Okay. Um Every, I was, every first Sunday, I was told before, and I've been here before, and there's an offer, a special offer yes. that's raised for our, um, Pastor Michelle. And um, you got to know what the offer is. <laughs> I believe, in my, in my correct story? Yes, yes. A, I believe it's a hundred dollar seed, am I right? Oh, 25. 25. I'm sorry. But if anyone wants to give over. But if anybody wants to give over, um, you can do that at this time. And if you give, it'll be given back to you. Press down, run it over. Well, then give unto your bosom. So come out of yourself and just give one today. I heard him playing give him, and I'll give it back to you. Yes, he will give it back to you. I remember one time I, I was going through a struggle, and and we were in a, um, we were in the church. I was in the church I was going to, and I didn't have really anything to give, so I I said I'm not going to give nothing because it was a small offer. All I had was a dollar. One dollar to my name. I promise you that. And I just, something just said, give that offer. I know it was the Holy Ghost. So I gave the offer. I gave that widow's mic one dollar. I didn't have no groceries in my house. But I gave the one dollar. And the next day, during a blizzard, it was a blizzard where I was living in New Jersey. It's storm. And somebody knocked on my ass, called me and said, are you home? A friend of mine from that I went to school with. And um, I said, yeah, I'm home. She said, I'm in your driver. I said, what are you doing here in this blizzard? And she said, just come on down. I promise you, I gave one dollar and got 10 bags of groceries. So it's not about how big or little. It's your heart to give. It's the heart that you have to give. Amen. So whatever you have, don't ever think your gift is too small. Because God will take, God took that one dollar and blessed me with 10 bags of groceries. And I didn't have anything. And the, and, the, and the thing about it, everything she brought, I didn't give her a grocery list because I didn't know she was coming. But every single thing she brought to my house was everything that we needed. Everything we needed. I never even talked to her. Amen. 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 We're going to pray over the offering. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for this day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it, Father. We thank you, God, for all things, Father God. And even as, as those that gave, Father God, and those that didn't have to give, Father God, 
Bless this offering, Father God. Glory, hallelujah. Multiply it, Father God. Glory, hallelujah. Those that gave, Father God, out of their out of their own need, Father God, perform a miracle for them, Father God, just like you've done for me so many times, Father God. Glory, hallelujah. Those that had a heart to give but didn't have anything to give, bless them beyond measure, Father God. Amen. Open the windows of heaven and pour down blessings that they don't have room to be. See, Father God, yes, that they don't have Lord. enough room to even contain, Father God. Bless their coming and bless their going, Father God. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, God, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even those, hallelujah, that their back is against the wall, Father God, make a way out of no way for them today, Father God. Today, Father God. Today, Father God. Today. Do it for them today, Father God. Glory, hallelujah. And we just thank you, God, and we praise you, God. We give you all the glory and the honor that's due to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Bless the 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 Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. We give God praise for all of you today. Uh, Prophetess Polar said she did not want to receive an offering. She will just comply to however we usually do, do things here in the house. And we give God praise. For her, she Thank said she didn't want to receive an offering, but she will just continue and just bless, be a blessing to the ministry. So we give God praise for her for bringing that testimony, Amen. bringing that word. Hallelujah! She's been through a lot, and God has taken her far, far yes. away. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is an awesome God. As we prepare now to receive the Holy Communion, those of you at home, those of you watching, you have your communion, you have everything, the wafer and your grape juice at home set aside. So we're preparing now to do the Holy Communion. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Consecrate me. Consecrate me, Lord. Consecrate me, Lord. Consecrate me to do thy will. Consecrate me, Lord. Consecrate me, Lord. Consecrate. your Bibles. We're going to move quite expeditiously. Matthew 26, verse 26. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread. Now we know the Holy Communion is holy unto the Lord. Glory to God. Father, we ask you that you will bless, oh God, every wafer, Every great juice, oh God, for your people, God, even now. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, let it be for our healing. Let it be for our sanctification. Yes. Let it be, God, for the strength that we need. Oh God, in Jesus' name, and the deliverance that's needed. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, bless these wafers. Oh God, bless these great juices, we pray. Consecrate it, oh God. Yes unto you. We are consecrated God for your use God. Jesus. We are your vessel. We are your people and the sheep of your pasture. Even now in Jesus name we peel back the first portion and those of you at home please prepare hallelujah. Have your wafer ready. Hallelujah. Those of you in the house you already have your communion. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you Desire, there's more communion in the back. Those of you that did not receive, hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah. We peel back the first portion. We know the communion is holy, holy unto the Lord, holy unto the Lord, hallelujah, glory be to God, because we serve a holy God, hallelujah, glory to his name. The Bible says, as they were eating, Jesus took bread, which is our wafer, and he blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, 
Take, eat. This is my body. And we eat in Jesus' name. And he took the cup and gave thanks. Hallelujah. And gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. And we peel back the second portion in those of you at home. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory to God for this is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, let's drink, we drink in Jesus' name. The Bible says that had, when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Some of us in the room here, our Mount of Olives is down the street, across the street. Some of us in different parts of New York here. Well, there were some of us in New Jersey and different places. Hallelujah. But we're going out to continue to show the love of the Lord. In the Catholic Church, they would, see, they would sing a song, Miller, we will go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Do you remember that one? She doesn't remember. But nonetheless, we give God praise for all of you that have joined us today on our streaming video. Those of you, hallelujah, that have joined us here at the Sanctuary of Praise and Worship Center, hallelujah. We give God praise for you. We thank you for joining us here. Oh my gosh, we had such an awesome time. We give God praise for Prophet Laron Matthews, praise God. Amen. Who came and ministered to us on this past Friday. We bless God for him. We bless yes. God for Apostle Simmons yes. and his beautiful yes. wife. Yes. We bless God, hallelujah, for hallelujah. our prophetess Tracy Pollard. Yes. And we yes. thank God for you that made it possible for us to come on and minister to the needs of the people. Hallelujah, glory to God. We will continue our street evangelism beginning this week, praise God, and our work, hallelujah. And we will continue to use our masks and social distance as needed. Amen? Because Amen. God is an able God, but we, he's also a God that requires us to use wisdom. Amen. Amen? Glory Amen. be to God. So we bless his holy name today. Thank you for joining us. Father, we thank you for the people that have joined, oh God, this thank week, you, oh God, unto the services, God. We pray, God, that you will encourage strengthen, heal, and deliver yeah. for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. We will be back here live on Tuesday at 3 p.m. for the Ladies' Lounge with my brother, my blood brother, uh, praise God, Carl Aldrich, who will be talking about you and your money. And then Friday again at 7 p.m. for prayer and the word. We give God praise for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God.